Why? Who, what, when, why? I've just finished uh, acting in a major uh, dramedy on uh, a streaming, a big streaming platform. I've done a lot of things in Hollywood. I've uh, written, directed, um, documented, but I've never acted on something like this. So I got to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff, even though I have my own show called The Cho Show. Uh, but I, I got to see how the sausage is made. One of the things that have bothered me uh, since my childhood, um, if you don't know, I'm of Asian uh, descent. That means we don't wear shoes in the house. So um, there are, you know, a lot of sitcoms I grew up watching where people are just wearing their nasty shoes in the house. And it really takes me out of the scene. I can't enjoy what's happening because I'm like wise. Anyways, the one that stayed with me to this day, there's always these, these things like when people... Um, arrive at a location in a tv show and they don't slam the door or they don't close it like sometimes they just get out of the car and walk i'm like wait he didn't close the door someone's gonna steal his car um but the one that stayed with me forever was um richie cunningham uh happy days he was depressed he's uh, something had happened where he was sad and he got into bed with his shoes on and I was like, is that something that white people do? That is that common? I don't understand. And to this day, it's haunted me that he climbed into bed and put the sheets over him and went to sleep. I was like, is that something that the showrunner missed? Is that something that the editor missed? Now that I see how many people are involved in a TV show, it doesn't leave, you know, and I, I know people will say, um, you know, for the hundreds of hours, the multiple seasons of Game of Thrones, they messed up once and there was a Starbucks cup in one scene and they missed it. Uh, you know, maybe people were tired, but, you know, I give them a pass out of that much hours of quality television for myself. And you missed a Starbucks cup once or the jeans guy from Mandalorian, you know, you're trying to make a TV show you know, multi-million dollars and, and you miss the guy with the, with the jeans, the sound guy or whoever he was, I give him a pass. I like it. Now, the question is, my, the shows that I produce don't have that many people involved, but there's still people involved and we pay attention. There's tens of thousands of hand-drawn animations in every episode of the show show. So we're, there's a movie, there's a story in every single frame of every second of the Cho Show. I should say millisecond, you know. So everything is uh, very calculated on the editing side of it. Maybe not the creation of it. Uh, I guess I'm telling you guys a little bit of how the sausage is made. But where am I getting to this? I don't know how, how many of you out there have a Hulu subscription, who have FX, who have seen the show... But I'll tell you this, there's an episode of the Cho Show where there is a tiny white something stuck in my beard uh, after uh, making art with my friend Rain Wilson using clay or paper mache and using our hands. And could I have wiped whatever that thing is out of my beard could the editor have uh you know edited that out could the answer i won't give it to you but the question is now that you know a little bit about the process of tv the mistakes the the all the time you have to catch the mistakes and how methodical i was in creating that show the question is especially for all you ocd people out there that can't First of all is, did you even notice it? Two, why did I keep it there? And three, what is it? What is that? Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? Why do I have a white thing stuck in my beard? 
I guess I'm explaining to you guys. Uh, I don't know. Am I am I explaining the joke too much or magician showing showing how you did the? I don't know. I don't know what I'm even asking right now. Really, I'm just. Did you notice it? And what is it? And why? What is that white thing that's stuck in my beard? I don't know how good your TVs are, if it's pixelated or what, but I don't know how that works, if you can zoom in. What the hell is that? Why is it there? Why didn't I edit it out? Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? Let's see what you guys come up with.